Hey guys, Dan from Alliance Contracting here. Today I'm going to show you how to build an inexpensive chloride sprayer. You can start with a 275 gallon tote or any type of water transport tank. I chose to use a 275 gallon tote on this 3 quarter ton 2013 GMC Sierra. So what I did is cut a hole on the top for access and then you get yourself one of these 12 volt sump pumps. They're all plastic and stainless steel construction. You can get them on Amazon for a little over a hundred bucks. And then you're going to need this 12 volt receiver with this 12 volt keychain remote. I also opted to wire in an LED light. Then you cut off the clamps and the switch, and then you just wire this pump to the remote, and then you're gonna have to get yourself a trail, trailer wiring plug, a seven way pin, plug, flat blade, and some wire. So that brings power up to the remote, and then on the other side of the remote receiver, that's where the pump is wired in, and the LED light. So you turn it on, the light comes on and off. There are no valves in this setup. Basically, the pump kicks on, put your chloride down through this one inch vinyl tube, and it goes into our spray bar. You can see here, we have a valve to open and close to kind of adjust the flow from the spray bar, or you can close the red valve and open the blue valve, and that's set up to have an auxiliary to, uh, if you wanted to hook a garden hose there to spray sidewalks, or say you have a push chloride spreader, you could refill it there with a short piece of hose. My spray bar is three quarter inch PVC and I have a two inch by two inch tubular steel that I welded these thin hollow metal rods to. And then the spray bar is just zip tied to that bar. Now this is a little crooked and a little beat up because this unit is probably about three years old. So unfortunately, when you have other people driving your trucks, they back into snow piles. But the way this is set up, it has quite a bit of give, but eventually it, the inevitable happens and it gets broken. So we keep spare spray bars already built up on hand. Basically to change them, you just do one hose clamp and six zip ties and you can change out the spray bar in a matter of minutes. On this particular setup, the exhaust comes out. So if it's plowing and you're getting really hot with the exhaust, it can actually melt the PVC. So we went shorter on this side, but then whenever the spray bar sticks out past the truck, I always do these rubber hoses. That way you have some give to it if you bump anything. And the other nice thing is if you're doing a parking lot where the sidewalk comes right up to the parking lot, you can spray the sidewalk as you're doing the first row of parking spots by that curb. So. It's a pretty good setup, very simple. Just one pump, one remote. And the nice thing is, this tank and spray bar can go in any truck, any pickup truck, flatbed, dump truck, anything that has a receiver hitch and the seven-way trailer plug. This setup is completely independent of wiring. There's no gas engines, no valves, nothing run into the cab. You can put this thing in in a matter of minutes. Now, one thing I'm gonna tell you about that's super important with this, I'm gonna show you. Because we're not running any valves, when that pump kicks on, brings the chloride up, over, and down, once you shut the pump off, you notice that the chloride's gonna run for a second? Well, it's going to create a vacuum. So you need to essentially install a vacuum breaker. I got these little plastic check valves off Amazon. You drill a hole in the tube, put that in, Chloride cannot shoot out, but air can get sucked in. So when you shut the pump off, air gets sucked in, it creates an air pocket in the line, and then you'll have a little bit of chloride drip out for a couple seconds to empty the tube and the spray bar. But then this allows air in to basically break that vacuum so you don't get siphoning out of the tank. So you can basically build this setup to spray chloride for any pickup truck. You might have a couple hundred bucks into all this, need a little bit of a uh, uh, some welding skills to put that metal bar together and then simple plumbing skills to put the spray bar together and all these supplies can be picked up at your local Ace Hardware or Home Depot. 
So it may not be fancy and pretty like those ones with the pumps and the recirc valves, but I'll tell you what, this thing works, and instead of investing thousands or tens of thousands, you can have a nice spraying system for a couple hundred bucks and make a bunch of money. So here on this one ton flatbed, I have a 750 gallon transport tank. And I have the same pump and the same basic setup on it. There's your spray bar. And this one does have the optional hose. I just used one of those uh, shrinky hoses. To be honest with you, a regular garden hose would work better because this pump, I think, puts out 25 gallons a minute. Uh, not a whole lot of pressure, so it has a hard time expanding the hose. But it's a 12 volt sump pump. And I first built these with those little uh, 12 volt RV pumps, and those only put out about five gallons a minute. So with this 12 volt sump pump, it puts more than enough pressure and volume down so you can actually go at a decent speed. And you see here, it's important to put dielectric grease in your plug, and then I also silicone where the wiring goes in. Again, this setup isn't necessarily about looks. It's about longevity, reliability, and function. So hopefully this helped you uh, get everything at Amazon, your local Ace Hardware, any hardware store or Home Depot, and you can build a pretty inexpensive chloride sprayer and get out there and make some money. Thanks for watching.